Hello and welcome back. My name is Fish. Today I would like to discuss an event and decision you receive in Hearts of Iron 4 when playing as Germany. Give Himmler Field Command. In Hearts of Iron 4, Heinrich Himmler is available as a political advisor of the German government. If you are at war and you choose Himmler as a, as a political advisor, an event and decision will be available to make him a field commander. Prior to World War II, Himmler received the title of Reichsführer SS after the Night of the Long Knives in July of 1934. This effectively made him the equivalent of a field marshal of the German army at this point. However, he did not exercise military command over the army or the specialized SS army detachments until late 1944 when he was appointed by Hitler as the commander-in-chief of Army Group Rhine. As an army group commander, Himmler was noted to sleep in and only work for four hours a day. Himmler was looked down upon by other German field commanders, and he was thought of as being incompetent in his role of field commander. Let's click on the event and decision in-game and see what happens. So we'll go ahead and play... Whoa. I just conquered the U.S. over here. So it costs 25 political power point, uh, political power. As soon as I clicked it, uh, current mood in the OKW is calm, but f it was zero in yellow, and now it's five in red. So the, the OKW is the German high command of the army. And they get upset when Himmler is given a uh, field command. The SS leadership loyalty is negative 10. And I know the SS leaders didn't even like uh, Himmler as a field commander. So we can also get foreign volunteers here. During World War II, the SS recruited for the Wehrmacht in various uh, countries such as Spain and Lithuania. And Lithuania actually had the most volunteers, uh, 50,000, over 50,000 uh, troops came from Lithuania, probably because they were afraid of becoming communists, so they wanted to fight against the communist government. Let's click a few of these and see if we can't... Um, try to get some recruitment. Recruitment campaign in Scotland. In this titanic struggle of national survival, we must use every asset and every advantage. The SS believes that there are many in Scotland who would gladly pick up arms and fight by our side against the threat of global Bolsh Bolshevism. Bolshevism. While the Wehrmacht agrees, in principle, that some recruitment of suitable volunteers could be useful, the generals in the OKW very strongly believe that any foreign volunteers should be under military, not SS, command. Compromise on a moderate recruitment campaign. One of two options will happen. 50% chance of generals protest, 50% 50 50 chance of nothing happens. The Galish Free Wilgen Division Dare Waffen SS will appear without equipment but full manpower strength. Fund massive recruitment campaign for the SS. The last one gives me manpower and army experience. Why don't we try uh, the Galesh Division here first and see what happens? Okay, so it was just an infantry division. General protest. So there was a 50% chance that the generals will protest, and I guess that happened. In a meeting with Adolf Hitler today, a number of high-ranking Wehrmacht officers in the Oberkommando der Wehrmacht have voiced their concerns about what they term political favoritism on the behalf of the SS. In particular, they are watching the development of a parallel armed force in the Waffen-SS with deep worry. The lavishly equipped SS divisions... Their argument continues, only take away desperately needed resources from the regular military. 
Finally, independent recruitment could lead to separate command structure leading to a separation of efforts when all forces force needs to be bundled to achieve final victory. I would tend to agree with that. That sounds like a good idea, not having two separate kind of like armies under different army structure. This interference in political matters is unbecoming of German officers. Assure them that the OKW has final command of all SS forces. Okay, I'll do that. So it looks like these guys have full equipment. <laughs> They're using the, the Garand here that I captured from the U.S. Is there anything else? It looks like they come uh, in as regulars. And they are high priority divisions. I wonder what the template is. Oh, wow. This is a really good division template. Uh, lots of artillery in there. Check out the stats here. Soft attack 110. Got pretty good defense and breakthrough. Wow. This is kind of surprising. This I would, uh, I would classify this as a fairly elite uh, unit. If you were playing with a lot of political power, this would actually, this might be a strategy. As long as the OKW didn't get too uh, upset at you here. So let's play through more and see what happens. So I have some political, some more political power. Let's try to recruit from uh, the Netherlands. So now we'll try to fund a massive recruitment campaign and, uh, oh, wow, it looks like each different area you're able to get different options. Veteran Motorized, 23rd. Armored SS Panzer Division, Nederland. And the Armored SS Panzer Division, Anton Musert. Will appear without equipment, but with full manpower and strength. Okay, so the same with both of them. But you get the template. It looks like you get the new template. And, and can you actually... Do you get the template over here? It looks like you do. So these just appeared. They must have appeared after I uh, recruited the Scots. A uh, decent division, but I think that's the same as this one, pretty much. I modified this one and added the anti-air and the motorized infantry. So this is actually the same as that you get in the mi in the beginning of the game. Panzer Division template that you get at the beginning of the game has four tanks, but I believe it only has uh, three of these motorized infantry uh, units here. The combat width here is 20. Yes, this is better than the one that you get in the beginning of the game. And the Waffen Grenadier Division is the one that I showed that we created with the Scottish recruitment. And this is a 20 combat with fantastic division. The motorized division is 18. Okay. Yeah, let's go for the big uh, panzer division here. We have plenty of uh, panzer units, so it should, it should work out. Got 2,000 light tanks. All right, so we get them. All right, so we got two of these. They're regular, but they're almost ready to become veteran. That's outstanding. Let's see him fill up with equipment here. All right. We get all the captured American support equipment. They have the excellent Panzer IIc that I've upgraded. M1 Grands. What does this division get? Kind of the same thing. Perfect. Wow, and they come out. That's that's pretty good. If you're just giving these divisions for political power, I mean, you have to build the equipment yourself, but they are some pretty good divisions. So let's see if there's any consequences of that. Looks as if there's not. Let's try it. Let's see what... Uh, Belgium gives us over here, huh? This is going to give us motorized, two motorized divisions. General resigns in protest. 
So as you keep doing this, the penalties become worse and worse. So 25% chance of getting event general resigns in protest, 25% chance of nothing happens, 50% chance of get events uh, general protest. So that's kind of the same. Same penalties, but this time you can get two SS uh, Panzer divisions. Or we can just get manpower and experience. 1,000 manpower. I have 1.98. I don't think that that's even worth it. The army XP is not worth it either. I think I have more Panzer. Let's, uh, let's try for some motorized this time, see what happens. General protest. Okay, I'll take a penalty to political power again. And then we got these two excellent motorized divisions. Combat width of 18. Huh. That's pretty good. And again, they're almost ready to become veteran. That's, let's try this one last time. We'll go ahead for... Let's see what France gives us here. So this is like an infantry division. And motorized division. They give us... Or 2,000 manpower, I guess because that's a bigger nation. Why don't we try these infantry divisions? So again, we can spend 50 political power and then I just go negative. So I think it only gave me this one right here. It only gave me one uh, Grenadier Division with that excellent template that they give you. Combat width 20, I believe. Yep. So in terms of the effects of having Himmler as a commander, I haven't seen any effects of that. Let's see if I can make him a commander. Like, let's see if we couldn't make him a commander of like these divisions over here. He must be somewhere. There he is. Skill 1%. Amazing. Oh, but he can get uh, traits here. Politically connected, that's for sure. Let's see what traits he can receive. Oh, and look, he's a Feldmarshal. Okay. It looks like you can give him charismatic organization first. Defensive Doctrine or Offensive Doctrine? I, With these special commando units, I think I'd give him Offensive Doctrine. I can make him Field Marshal. I don't know that you'd want to make him Field Marshal. This is awful. But the recruitment section uh, looks pretty good, actually. Uh, if all you're doing is kind of pissing off the OKW, I'll go for it. I think that uh, these are probably worth it if you can get there. And Himmler, if he's a political advisor, gives you negative 25% effect of partisans, um, foreign subversive activities, efficiency, negative 30%, and non-core manpower plus 2%. So it gives you a little manpower. And then the event in decision would be active. So probably after you conquer France as Germany and maybe even England or something like that. If you're in an occupation type situation, he would be good to have because of the negative 25% effect of partisans. And then from there, you could start recruiting the SS divisions. Of course, you do have to uh, produce your own equipment though. Well, thanks for joining me, everyone. Have a good one and uh, leave a like and subscribe. I will see you on the next one.